video, but something completely different this time. I've decided to do a tag instead. So I was watching a lot of tag videos on YouTube and I found the My First Time tag and I thought that one was kind of cool. So without further ado, here is the My First Time tag. Um, so I found a bunch of random questions. I don't know if these are all the questions or these are not the same questions you might have seen in other first time tags uh, videos, but I'm just going to go through them real quick. So first question is, what was your first word? According to my mother, my first word was mama. Uh, what was your first teddy bear? Uh, my first teddy bear was a fluffy white teddy bear. Um, because I'm born so close to Christmas, he was a Christmas bear, so he had a Christmassy scarf and a hat, and I called him Nicky Bear. I still have him. I don't physically have him here with me since I've moved, but he is in my bedroom in my parents' place. I miss you, Nicky Bear. Uh, the next question is, who is your first friend? So I've actually got a couple of these because I met a group of my friends way back in kindergarten, and we are all still friends to this day, but the first four friends... Um, are Pamela, Amy, Diana, and Sarah. Diana actually lives like two blocks away from me now and the rest of them are back home in Toronto. Um, your first school crush. <clears throat> my first school crush was actually my friend Amy's big brother. His name was Alan. I liked him for as long as I can remember. Um, even my mom liked him and she wanted us to like get married and everything but yeah, got over him. Next question, your first celebrity crush. My first celebrity crush was probably Leonardo DiCaprio. Um, he's the one I can remember the earliest kind of obsessing over. Like, I fell for him in Titanic. I also really liked Devin Sawa um, from Casper. And I had a thing for Jonathan Taylor Thomas, I don't know. But yeah, those are my first crushes, I guess. Uh, first boyfriend. My very first boyfriend's name was Syed. I met him in high school and he's actually my boyfriend right now. Oh, um, just more details on that. It was my first year of high school and I was 13 years old. Um, first job. My first job was at Mary Brown's Famous Chicken and Taters, which is a fast food place much like KFC, but it's a lot better. Um, and I was a cashier. It was a love-hate relationship with that job. I loved all my coworkers. Hated the job. But free chicken. Uh, oops, turned off on me. Next question, your first gig or concert. Sadly, I have never attended a real concert before. Um, I, hopefully I will one day. Um, and I'm not in band or anything, so I've never had a first gig. Next question. Your first car. Um, again, sadly, I have never owned my own car. Um, however, my boyfriend and I, we, I would consider it our first car because I did put a lot of money into that car. It was a 98 Volkswagen Jetta. It was red, my favorite color. And I loved that car. But it's gone now. <laughs> Next. First video. My first video was actually posted on my first YouTube channel, which I opened way back in like 2008. And the first video I posted was actually a reaction video. At that time, reaction videos were a big thing. And if you've ever heard of the video, Two Girls, One Cup, I hadn't at the time. All my friends were raving about this video. Oh, you gotta go and watch it. And you need to record yourself when you watch it because it's so funny. And I was like, Okay, I'll do that. I honestly thought it was like going to be something really funny that they wanted to get my reaction laughing to it or that it was going to be something really scary and they wanted to get me like freaking out on camera. <sighs> Needless to say, I was completely caught off guard. Those videos have since been privated because they are disturbing and embarrassing. <laughs> Next question. First person to text you today. Um, this day and age, my friends don't really use text. My parents don't use text. Everybody uses like WhatsApp and other social media platforms to communicate. Um, and no word of a lie, I woke up to 275 WhatsApp messages. Um, it was a group message between my friends Pam, Sarah, and Saranja. Um, one of the girls was having a baby and they were just talking about her baby shower. 
and I guess they were talking for a long time because when I got up this morning, there were 275 messages in that group chat waiting for me. So yes, short answer is Pam, Sarah, and Saranja. <laughs> Uh, let's see what else. First airplane ride. My very first airplane ride was when I moved with my mom to Toronto. That was from Trinidad to Toronto and I was 10 months old. First best friend. My very first best friend was Asha. Um, she's another one of the girls that I'm very close to still to this day. Every time I go back to Toronto I see her. Um, we talk every now and then on social media and stuff. We Skype um, and I just love her. She's the best. I miss you, Asho. Uh, next, first sleepover. My first sleepover that I can recall was back in middle school. Um, I was a member of the middle school choir, so we were going on breakfast television one day, so they had us all sleep over at the school so we could get up in time. Uh, for those of you that don't know breakfast television, if you don't live in Canada or something, um, it's just basically a early morning news show, and we were going to perform on the show, so we had to get up at like 3 in the morning and be there for 4 to go on at 5 and it's crazy. Um, ugh, my phone keeps turning off. Next. First grade teacher. I remember her because she was one of my favorite teachers I've ever had. Her name was Vicky. I don't remember her last name. But hi Vicky if you're watching. You were awesome. Next question. First tweet. I actually had to look this up but my first tweet is Waiting for my boyfriend to get home from work, and that was tweeted on July 14th, 2009 at 12.30 in the morning. So yeah, so entertaining, huh? Next question, first CD. My first CD was Backstreet Boys, self-titled Backstreet Boys album. It was their first album. I, the first time I heard them, I was like, yes, I love these guys. I want their CD, and I got it. Not to age myself or anything, but I also remember my first record. It was New Kids on the Block. I had a record player and it was the small records, not the big one. And yeah, New Kids on the Block. Love them too. Next question is your first big purchase. Um, now, I haven't really purchased anything massive to date. The biggest purchase I've ever made would have to be when I first moved out. I bought couches and they cost $1,500. That's my biggest purchase to date. Your first road trip. My first road trip was with my boyfriend, his brother, and his brother's fiance, and we went to Montreal for a wedding. And that was a lot of fun. <laughs> uh, so that is all the questions I found to do for this tag. So that's it. Um, thank you so much for watching, guys. Let me know if you liked this style of video or not so I know if I should continue to do them. If you like this video, please do give it a thumbs up and feel free to leave me some comments below. Um, I tag all of you to do this tag because I think it's a really cool way just to kind of learn about fellow YouTubers. And if you haven't already, please do subscribe. Otherwise, I'll talk to you guys in another video. Toodles! Bye!